Hypothermia occurs when your body loses heat faster than it can produce it. A normal human body temperature sits at 37 degrees Celsius, but if this falls below 35 degrees Celsius, then a person is considered hypothermic. Hypothermia is caused by exposure to cold temperatures. This could be anything from prolonged exposure to cold weather while not appropriately dressed, falling into cold water, or even getting locked in a freezer. Someone with hypothermia usually isn't aware of their condition because the symptoms usually begin gradually. First, the person will start shivering as their body attempts to warm itself. The person will experience gradual degrees of slurred speech and mumbling, slow, shallow breathing, weakened pulse, clumsiness or lack of coordination, drowsiness or very low energy, confusion or memory loss, and in some cases the person will get what has been called a hot flash, where they suddenly feel very warm. There are actually tales of climbers being found frozen to death with their clothes folded next to them as they became disoriented and felt hot. They weren't hot, they were actually very, very cold. This practice is called paradoxical undressing. The victim may also do something called terminal burrowing or hide and die syndrome, an apparent self-protective behavior which occurs in the final stages of hypothermia. The afflicted will enter small enclosed spaces, such as underneath beds or behind wardrobes. It is often associated with paradoxical undressing. Researchers in Germany claim this is obviously an autonomous process of the brainstem, which is triggered in the final state of hypothermia and produces a primitive and burrowing-like behavior of protection, as seen in hibernating animals. This happens mostly in cases where temperature drops slowly. Finally, the person will lose consciousness, then eventually die. When body temperature drops, the heart, nervous system, and other organs can't function normally. The heart rate continues to slow until it can no longer get oxygen-rich blood to every part of the body. Parts of the body may turn blue while it fights to push that blood to the organs that need it most. The person will fall unconscious until they finally die, usually from complete heart and respiratory failure. Primary treatments for hypothermia are methods to warm the body back to a normal temperature. If someone gets hypothermia, make sure they are dry, wrap the person in blankets and take them to the hospital. If that's impossible, make sure they are dry and slowly rewarm them. When rewarming the body of a hypothermic person with the body of another person, first aid experts often recommend that both the victim and the rewarmer be naked or barely dressed. This facilitates the transfer of heat from the warm person to the person with hypothermia. If the victim is alert enough to swallow, giving them a warm, sweetened, non-alcoholic fluid can help raise temperature. Do not give them alcohol, as it causes vasodilation, which is the opening up of blood vessels that results in bodily cooling. When a person can be declared dead in the field is a subject of great controversy in the medical community. There have been multiple amazing recoveries of patients with severe hypothermia that no one thought possible. If there is any doubt, and it is safe for the rescuer to do so, the patient should be treated and evacuated to hospital. Ideally, the decision to stop resuscitation should only be done by an experienced physician or advanced life support provider with the ability to monitor cardiac activity and measure core temperature in the field. When in the field efforts can be stopped or not initiated at all is determined when rescuer safety will be compromised by a prolonged resuscitation and rescue effort if there is obvious lethal injuries, or if the body is so frozen that the chest cannot be compressed during attempts at CPR.